Well, first of all, we need to look at what's uh, perception and what is reality. If you look at the border crime rate uh, that we have, uh, according to the FBI, murders, assaults, rapes, uh, the border crime rate is actually lower than the national crime rate. If you look at Laredo, Texas, my hometown on the border, compare the murders we had last year, three murders per 100,000, compared to Washington, D.C., where we're at right now, that's about almost 16 murders per 100,000. So actually, it's a lot more dangerous here in Washington, D.C. So there's a perception, there's a reality. Uh, if we're going to talk about border security, uh, my uh, aspect has always been, my perspective has always been, yes, let's have reasonable border security, but we got to look at the southern border, we got to look at the northern border, and we got to look at the maritime borders also, uh, and look at other uh, other things, because not all threats will come in through the southern border. If you look at the 9-11 uh, uh, terrorists, or even some of the folks that have come in, they have not come in through the southern border. So we got to look at perception and reality, and reality on the border, and I live on the border, I, uh, I drink the water, I breathe the air there, and I can tell you it's a lot safer there than in Washington, D.C., with all due respect to Washington, D.C.